Hello everybody, British Bob here. Today we're going off and meeting the Oddbods. These colourful characters include Pogo, Fuse and Bubbles, Z, Slick, Newt, and last but not least, Jeff. Along the way we'll be looking at the action vehicles of Z's tractor, Pogo's ice cream van, Bubbles' buggy, and Fuse's monster truck. We'll also be looking at Jeff and Slick's mini races, and for Newt we'll be looking at, uh, nothing actually. It doesn't appear as though she has one. But don't worry, being the social media guru that she is, she's putting out a request. Hashtag Newt needs a car. So let's wish her luck. And now that the introductions are over, prepare yourselves for the weird and wacky world of Oddbod Country. Now where's my cowboy hat and leather boots? Aha, and here we have five of the better known residents. Wait a minute. Better make that seven. Now don't be fooled, these guys may look like cute and cuddly teddy tubbies, but they're bonkers. And the same has to be said for the rest of the inhabitants. I mean, where else would you find a random werewolf stood at the side of the road? And ninjas? one's going to win. Like Batman once said, when playing roulette, always bet on black, so my money's on him. And here we have Fuse, who appears to have a bit of a problem with the front of his monster truck. While he's using this interesting repair technique, let me tell you what I think's wrong with it. Now this may look like any other pickup truck modified with a larger suspension and tyres, but the difference lies hidden within the bull bars, and is simply activated by Fuse pushing down on the hood scoop. That's right, it's a missile launcher. So now you can see why he's got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp and looking so upset. He simply just can't blast anyone who gets in his way off the road anymore. Hmm, that odd bod looks very familiar. Oh dear, not the best of places to stop, boys. And not the best of people to be stuck behind you. Oh dear. Ah, the camper van had stopped so one of them could have a toilet break. And this latest race photo shows that Slick is currently winning. Oh, I do apologise, you guys were all sleeping whilst this race started. Let me back it up a bit. <sighs> the race started very early this morning, between two very different drivers. Namely, the very sophisticated and disciplined Jeff, and the music-loving hipster Slick. Now the stakes are high. If Slick wins, he gets Jeff's suit of armour. But if Jeff wins, he gets Slick's prized gold statue. I know which one I'd prefer in my trophy cabinet. Right, now let's compare their cars. As you can see, there's very little in it between these two, except for the fact that Slick has a pair of ridiculously oversized speakers. Which, as you can see from the driver profiles, costs him two grams. Jeff's coming in at 27, Slick at 29. I just hope the weight disadvantage won't be detrimental to the race. Especially given the fact he blew his speakers on the start line, whilst trying to break Jeff's concentration with the volume of the music. This pleased Jeff no end. He could now listen to his classical radio station and enjoy a lovely, peaceful drive through the countryside. So anyway, off they went and they've been driving round and round in circles ever since. Let's get back to where we were. Wow, he's still going. This guy's like a camel. And here we have Pogo now, the mischievous prankster of the group. And it looks as though he's developing some sort of ice cream rocket launcher. Sparks and gunpowder, never a good combination. This isn't going to end well. You! They just missed it. I sadly wish I could say the same for you.
I bet when you woke up this morning, Pogo, that wasn't how you planned your day to go. Ah, oh, he isn't as bad as they say. He's obviously going to make sure no one was hurt. Wait a minute! What's he doing? Oh, I don't believe it. He was only trying to catch Z up so he could tease him with some ice cream. <laughs> uh, Pogo, if I was you, I'd keep your eyes on the road. Oh, brilliant driving! He managed to catch the back end! And lose it again. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, my friend. You've got plenty more people to wind up with your lifetime. <laughs> ah, Fuse! Wonderful to see that you've escaped unharmed. Pity the same can't be said for your monster truck. But on a plus note, it sounds though like the mechanism on your missile launch is working again. Hmm, funny. I thought you'd have looked much happier about it. As Fuse awoke from his temporary coma, he was just in time to see the camper van which he so rudely beat only a few minutes earlier drive effortlessly over the ice cream puddle in front of it and continue its journey on down the road. Poor chap. He's been through enough already. I think it's time to call in the reinforcements. Uh, calling all cars, this is British Bob. We have one odd dog down requiring medical attention and the other one has a bruised ego. Please return to the pits and assist en route. Oh my! These guys must be exhausted. They must have been going at this for about seven minutes now. I just hope the noise of these mini racers flying by isn't a distraction. K.O. You win! Well done to all those who said the Black Ninja was going to win. We were right. Cheer up, Fuse. Jeff and Sick will be here any second now and help you get all this sorted. If there's anyone in the world who would have cleaning brushes attached to their race car for such an occasion, it would be Jeff. Oh, and there's one extra stroke of good fortune, Z just happened to be in the area. You may have seen him already. Everyone's been driving past him at high speed all day. He may be the slowest odd bod around, but his tractor's just perfect for pulling Fuse's monster truck out of the field. And speaking of Fuse, he's currently got his police detective's hat on, trying to establish how the ice cream puddle got there in the first place. Hmm... I wonder... And as you can see, it's probably a good thing he's been preoccupied with this task, as Z's just fallen asleep. It's tiring work driving a tractor, you know. Okay, well, that's all the boys accounted for. But my question is, where are the girls? Ah, here's Newt, and it appears she's watching some sort of an air show. But I've never seen one like this before. And it seems to like this camper van. Without realising it, SpongeBob and Patrick just saved the world from alien invasion. Their minds were that empty that the aliens decided to go home, as there were no signs of intelligent life. And here we have Bubble's security camera picking up the UFO, which can only mean one thing. It's not going to be long before the resident alien hunter is on the case. 
Yes, extraterrestrial signal picked up. Confirmed by the radar. In rocket mode. And off we go. Following the rescue operation, all the boys joined together at Pogo's crash site. Jeff provided the first aid, Slick the music, thankfully not from his mini racer music system, and Z, piping hot pizzas for everyone, courtesy of his pizza oven, conveniently located within the engine bay of his tractor. Once the pizzas were ready, he simply pulled the lever on the side of his tractor, which loaded the pizza into the grill ready for dispatch. Now that's what I call fast food. I forgive you for thinking this was the end, but the best is yet to come. Remember that request Newt put out on social media? You know, hashtag Newt needs a car. Well, the aliens received it and sent her a car in just her color. I don't know much about cars, but it looks very nice. Anyway, they'd abducted it and been using it for analysis, but as they no longer needed it, they thought she might like to have a try. So she did. And it looks like she's having a lot of fun. That girl's got skills. I don't know about all of you, but I'm currently playing my air guitar. Ah, oh, I love this tune. Anyway, enough about me. Let's get back to the story. Enjoy. <clears throat> Following some rather epic driving by the two ladies, Newt was absolutely besotted with supercars. So she thought she'd try social media once more and see if there was any other cars the aliens could possibly offer her. Being the highly evolved species that they are, she really didn't have to wait long at all. And as you've come to expect by now, their arrival certainly wasn't sudden. Don't worry, Newt couldn't read it either. But thank goodness for Google Translate. It simply read, hashtag, no problem. Be back in a minute. I don't know for sure why the aliens took such a shine to Newt. Maybe it was the fact she was pink as well. Nevertheless, what car do you think the aliens are going to come back with? Put it in the comments below, and you never know, she might be driving it next time you see her. Oh, and given that Newt was in the presence of such an avid alien hunter, you have to feel sorry for poor old Bubbles. She was so infatuated with the fact that a cocktail could come inside a coconut shell that she completely missed the entire thing. Thank you all again for watching and see you again soon. Toodle pip.